The sound of a bygone era plays on in Worcester thanks to one man's lifelong passion we had the idea to and another man's vision of the future. In the 1920s and 30s, Wurlitzer theater organs provided the soundtrack for silent films. Today, this piece of hidden history has come back to life at the Hanover Theater. Originally, uh, there were about 10,000 theater pipe organs. Now there's uh, only several hundred left. Donald and Phipps uh, is the reason this instrument survives. When someone's trying to be humorous, they say I'm an organ donor. He's chased this passion since a day trip with his aunt as a child. I love pipe organ started at five years old, and one Sunday she took me into Tremont Temple Baptist Church where there was a big cast of band organ. And from that day on, I was going to work on organs. While Phipps didn't make organs his profession, forward. he never forgot about these majestic instruments. In 2002, he showed Chronicle the Wurlitzer Theater organ that he had built in a New Bedford warehouse. It's the same organ that's playing in Worcester today. A lot of these organs ended up junk, and we could years ago buy them for just the value of the scrap metal. Phipps knew the organ couldn't stay in the warehouse forever. I became mindful of the fact that I was getting old and, you know, this wasn't going to last forever. <clears throat> and so I started to look for a, a home for the instrument. So how do you find a home for an instrument that includes nearly 2,500 pipes? Just pick up the phone. And I says, I think we have something in common. You have a theater, I have a... 15-ton theater pipe organ, and uh, maybe we could get together. I didn't know what to think. Hanover Theater President and CEO Troy Siebels was on the other end of that call in 2006. A complete renovation was underway on the Hanover Theater. It became really obvious that this was a, just a neat opportunity that doesn't come along. For more than a decade, the Hanover Theater has incorporated its Wurlitzer organ into the production of A Christmas Carol. The instrument doesn't just create music, it also provides sound effects. I didn't understand what a theater organ could do until this one came along. It's magical. For both Siebels and Phipps, the power of the instrument echoes beyond the theater. I love being able to say that we retained and kept this amazing organ in front of audiences. It never ceases to be a thrill, and particularly with uh, the Christmas Carol production. And I've seen it 50 times probably, and I still get all excited. Wonderful experience. Just minutes down Main Street, a vacant building is a reminder of mid-20th century Worcester. Fifty years after the closure of Denholm and McKay, a dedicated collector is sharing a treasure trove of memorabilia. Anything related to Denholm's, I try and safeguard, you know, for future generations. The department store has come back to life inside the Worcester Historical Museum. Guest curator Chris Sawyer has been accumulating these pieces for decades. He worked with exhibit coordinator Vanessa Bumpus to transport visitors back in time. It started when I was 13 and my grandmother pulled the box of Denholm's memorabilia out from underneath her bed and I was fascinated by it. My grandmother started with Den Homes in 1947 as a stock girl, and she worked there through the closing, 1973. At the time of closing, she was an executive vice president. She took me into the building in 1984 when it was being converted to offices, so I got my last glimpse of what a luxury department store was like, and I was hooked ever since. The first item Sawyer added to his collection is here, a store directory. Just seeing things that you don't see anymore in department stores. You don't see stationary departments anymore, gourmet shops. You know, it was what made Denholm's unique in Worcester. If you lived in Worcester, you went to Denholm's at some point, whether it was to go back to school shopping or buy your uniform for Girl Scouts or get a new washing machine. Bumpus says the exhibit has grown since it opened in late 2023, with people reaching out to share their keepsakes from Den Homes. But even more meaningful are the memories. 
A couple of people have gotten teary just from the emotion of remembering Den Homes. I think it brings back a lot of family memories. For decades, I've had this in boxes. And so to see it rekindle a memory for someone. And so when they come in and if they cry or if they smile, we know it touched their heart. And that's what this exhibit's all about. And Chris says that many people talk about their memories of coming into den homes and being hit by the smell of <laughs> perfume. So to conjure up those memories, the exhibit has a diffuser with a signature scent, the perfume White Shoulders. Den homes also was the first escalator ever in Worcester at den homes. And back to the Hanover Theater. Um, they host silent movies with live organ accompaniment, as well as, of course, organ concerts. So they make the most use out of that organ. That's great. Coming up, a historic property comes full circle.